Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Pardon my voice, I'm, I'm fighting a cold here. Um, before I get started in this video, uh, go check out my video, my, my new channel, Grumpy Old Ufologist. I put all my paranormal stuff up there, along with, uh, along with uh, UFO stuff and, and the unexplained stuff, that kind of thing. <clears throat> um, my wife came up with that good idea because uh, they keep trying to give me strikes on my other channel, so this way at least I can put this stuff up. And if you if you enjoy this content, subscribe to that channel. Also go to Rumble and, and check out my, my YouTube channel over there, Grumpy Old Fart. Uh, the, the channel I'm talking about now is Grumpy Old Ufologist. It's here on YouTube. Um, on with the video. In 2001, the Gallup organization conducted a survey and found that 73% of those polled believe in at least one of the 10 paranormal topics that they presented in the survey. You know, ghosts, UFOs, Bigfoot, whatever. 73% of them believe in at least one. 70% uh, of those polled believe that their par paranormal experience changed their lives. So they're, at least 70% of them believe that their lives changed because of this. In 2006, researchers from Australia's Monash University, can, I, think, I hope I'm saying that right, Monash, M-O-N-A-S-H, Monash, Monash University, Anyway, these researchers conducted <clears throat> a survey and found that 70% of those polled claim to have seen, heard, or been touched by an animal or person that they knew was not there. That's, that's, that's a big number, 70%. And the other was 70 and 73%. So that's, that's a hell of a portion of the people, okay? It seems that people around the world are becoming more and more open to the paranormal. Much of this is likely due to the ghost hunting and other paranormal television shows you know, that we see on TV. However, those shows would never have become so popular as they are unless human beings already had some sort of an embedded interest in the topic. <clears throat> so in other words, these shows wouldn't have gotten popular if people didn't really believe in them anyway. They may not have been answering the poll right, you know, not answering the poll honestly. But somebody had to believe in it or the shows wouldn't have become so popular. Um, this, aside from the fact that until the 70s, people claimed they thought it was all hogwash. Most people thought that ghosts and demons and like that was all hogwash up until the late 60s, early 70s in that range. These days, it's hard to find someone who isn't a believer. I find it inter interesting that in this scientific and technological information age, more people are willing to admit that they believe in the supernatural than in certain decades past. People look at primitive man and all, the, all of his superstitions and they, and they kind of scoff. But these days, those skeptics are in the minority. I myself have experienced things I cannot explain. Check out my videos, my paranormal experiences and ghost lights and uh, I think I did some of mine in the stairs in the woods. Uh, there's some others. Go check those out. Uh, the demon, demonic activity, that kind of thing. Go, go check those out. I don't know exactly what I believe. Um... But my wife has experienced a multitude of paranormal events along with her sisters. So, I trust her. She's, she's pretty honest, you know. She doesn't, she doesn't, she's not prone to wild stories or accusations or anything like that. She certainly doesn't embellish. She's pretty down to earth. Love the hell out of her. She's awesome. Um, so, like I said, I don't know exactly what I believe. <clears throat> but I know that I'm a Christian. And I trust that my wife is not engaging in falsehoods or hoaxes, anything like that. I know what I have seen and heard, and I know what she has told me, and, and I believe her. If you or someone you know have experienced paranormal events, please put them in the comments. And, and please, only events that you 
you actually believe happened. I don't want any jokes or hoaxes or anything like that. Only honest experiences. I'm very interested in what my subscribers have experienced or what they believe. Because, you know, the last thing I want to do is tell people how to believe or what to believe. And I'm not going to point fingers and laugh because I myself have seen stuff. Might not be a demon hanging on the back of a car if, if you've watched that video. But, you know, there's other things. I'm just saying. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all. Thank <laughs> you.